guys! It's been four months since I've done a video and I can't believe I've been gone from YouTube for that long. And the purpose of this video today is to talk about where I've been, what I've been up to, why I've been gone, and what you guys have missed. And hopefully you can tell me what I've missed because I've been so detached from not only YouTube but also the booktube world and just books in general that I feel lost and a little disoriented because I'm so used to going on YouTube every day and checking what's going on and even going on Goodreads all the time but I lack that participation because of school so I'm going to be talking about some updates regarding that, what I've been up to and why the heck I've been gone for so long. So as you can tell things are back to normal, I have the books behind me, everything is good, I'm in my room. But the truth is, for the past four months, I have actually been away at school and studying graphic design in a different city. When I head back to school next week, I'm actually going to be in my dorm room, so that's one of the biggest things I had to adjust to is the fact that I'm not living at home, I don't get the pleasure of sitting in front of this bookshelf and talking to you guys. I love this background and that's one of the things I struggled with, is I love the visual setting of a video and I felt that if I wasn't here then maybe you guys wouldn't like my videos but that's something I overcame and I was motivated to make videos once I started school but the problem is is I realized how demanding and how stressful school would become and it came to the point where school was so intense I had meltdowns I had breakdowns and I didn't even have time for normal things so the thought of making a video was scary and a little impossible in my mind and that's why it was pushed on the back burner. The thing about my program is it's highly intense and requires a lot of dedication, a lot of hard work, and a lot of patience. It was to the point where students around me were pulling all-nighters, they weren't getting sleep, and I never did that because I spent every waking moment working and that's why I didn't have time to make videos is because when I was awake I was working or eating and or just really tired afterwards so there wasn't a moment in my day where I was able to sit and talk about books because I didn't have time to read let alone the energy to kind of immerse myself to make a video and talk about something because I was just so caught up in my schoolwork that my mind couldn't readjust to think about something else or even talk about it. Reading acted as a way in the past for me to escape, but at that time I couldn't even feel like I could escape from my life because it was so consuming and the work just drove me insane. When I say that this work is so demanding and consuming and it drove me insane, I still love what I'm doing, if that makes any sense. I love what I'm being pushed to do, I love what I'm being taught. I'm the type of person when I'm given something, I want to put 110% of myself in it and that's my problem is because I can't, I have to learn I can't put myself that much into it and when I do that's when things start to get a little nauseating and I start to get really exhausted is because I want to do everything I can to make it how I want to but sometimes that's not realistic or possible and when I was reading I was reading textbooks and terrible old articles written by guys who old dudes who just go on and on that was exhausting as well so when I was reading it was for classes so not to like bombard you guys with these feelings that I was going through. I don't want to make you think that it was a terrible experience because it wasn't at all. I had some of the most great experiences ever. The things I learned and the teachers I had and the projects I had were phenomenal. It's just that I'm the type of worker who not only wants to do the best she can but to produce the best work ever and outdo myself every single time and that was my problem so these past four months not only were to learn what I was being taught at university but I was learning what I was teaching myself throughout the process that was enlightening, refreshing but also exhausting so that's why I couldn't read I couldn't bring myself to read because I couldn't even take the chance to escape my own world before immersing myself in something else and I want to say that I will have the chance to make more videos that I'm going to do it but I have no idea what's going to happen because that's exactly what I thought before the first semester and I was disappointed obviously because of how much work there was. So for me, I really, really, really want to keep up videos. I just don't know what's in store for me for the next semester because I do have some hard courses that require a lot of work. And the thing is, YouTube videos for me, I want them just as good as the work I produce for university because I'm just the type of person 
to do that and to want that so for me I don't want to force myself or put out content just because I have to um, that's the thing, I, because I lacked the desire to make videos during the first semester because I was so caught up in work, I didn't want to force it. I still love and uh, utterly adore reading and talking about books. That's why I don't want to give up on this channel because if I do, I know I will be very disappointed in myself and I know I will regret it for the rest of my life. A lot of you were messaging me saying, are you done making videos? Is it the end? Um, are you going to stop? And I didn't, I don't... Some I responded to, some I didn't because in my mind I didn't even know because I wasn't making videos so that does that mean it was over? I was very conflicted and I didn't know but I know it's not over, it was just another absence, absent of mine that I needed to go through in order to become a better person and a better human being all at the same time. I know 2013 was over and I've already forgotten to say Happy New Year. I'm really looking forward to the new year and just seeing what's in store. Right, now that 2013 was over, I'll tell you guys that I only ended up reading 25 books in 2013 and compared to the past that's really really low but I can't blame myself and I can't get too upset about it because that was just what happened in 2013. I was finishing high school and I started university. It was one of the biggest years of my life so I can't really blame the fact that I didn't have time for reading. But if you have any requests for videos please let me know in the comments below because as you can tell I'm a bit rusty and I feel like I need your input and your feedback and your response to this because I'm not sure where you guys are in terms of my channel and because I got some messages saying like if you don't make videos I'm gonna unsubscribe and I know it's just because you guys want to see content from me but I'm just not sure um, where you guys are at in terms of my videos and what you feel all I know is I want to make more videos I'm gonna try my very very best to read more and to be in more contact with you guys and to create some more things where I can actually sit down and film maybe shorter videos that can get more response from you guys with books or other things so I'm not sure what's in store just know that I'm ready and prepared to do my best to tr try to get that to you guys another update in terms of books is I got a e-reading tablet for Christmas it's not the one that's solely for e-reading it's also uh, you can browse on the internet and go on Facebook and stuff like that so I wanted something that was multifunctional so I could also read on it but also spend time just playing games and going on YouTube and watching videos. So I decided on the Kobo Arc 7. So if you guys want me to do a review on this once I've used it more, please let me know if you want to know my thoughts on it. I know there's so many videos on this, but if you want my perspective and my opinion, please let me know because that's something I can do eventually if you guys want to hear my thoughts on it. For the longest time, I told myself I would never get one of these because I thought they were um, something that would get rid of the real true experience of reading a book, but honestly it has been so freeing to be able to eat something while read. I would sit down and just tap the screen and it would flip the page and I thought that was phenomenal just in itself that I could do so many things. Also, if you'd like a video talking more about my experience in university slash college, please let me know because even though I've explained more of the workload part of it, I could talk about other things that I've learned that maybe I could share with you guys. And yeah, so in total, I want you guys to know that as I've been loving university and college life, it has come with its hard times and I think that's what makes you realize what the good times are during university and I don't want to make you scared about it, it's just because my program is very demanding. It, became, it got to the point where it just was insane and I didn't know what to do with myself and it was just a very hard but also very fun and rewarding past four months. I've learned so much not only about school but myself. I'm the lucky one to have you guys and I forgot about that. I forgot about all the hard work that I put in to get a gathering and I forgot about all the hard work you guys put in to give me feedback and to watch my videos and my hard work wouldn't be anything without your devotion and your um, uh, caring about my videos and you care what I have to say and that's the most important thing and that's what I forgot about is because I'm a YouTuber I have these responsibilities and I want to be a YouTuber and in order to do that I need to maintain my presence on YouTube and I need to maintain a voice for my content that I want to talk about so all in all I miss you guys dearly I hope you guys aren't too mad at me and you can understand where I'm coming from I love you guys and I love reading still it's just something I had to go through to learn 
about myself. So let me know in the comments how many books you read last year, what you guys have been up to in terms of reading or anything. If you've started university, let me know anything. I'd love to hear from you. I'll be responding in the comments. If you want to follow me on Twitter for more updates, I want to cross my fingers hoping that I'll tweet more often and tell you guys what I'm up to. So if there's a while where I don't make a video or something goes wrong, check there because I'll most likely update it. So I really want to get back into this. I know my promises may fall short, but I hope you guys don't get mad at me for that. It's just something I cannot control. If I have time, just know that I will do my best to make content for you guys because I really want to and I love YouTube. And like I said, I love you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my rambly update video. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye!